good morning and welcome to Tuesday. Another day, I'm really excited to get going. Beck has already left for work. Today's one of those days where it's just gonna be me in the shop the whole day because Beck is doing like a, a full uh, day. She's not finishing work until the, the evening. I think it's like 6, 6.30 or something. I have made myself a packed lunch. Um, following on from yesterday's revelation um, and realization that I was spending way too much money on eating out. So got myself a packed lunch. I'm really pleased about that. I'm gonna make sure that I don't eat that and then also go and buy a lunch because that has happened to me in the past where I've made lunch, I've eaten the lunch and then I've still gone out and spent money. So it's about discipline. Um, so hopefully I will be strong. Well, I know I will be strong, I'm not gonna do it. Um, so time to go to the shop. Just to give you an idea how much Beck does look after me guys. Before she ran off to work, she was like, Zahir, you're going to need this at the off at the shop. Lou roll and bin bags. <laughs> so thanks, Beck. And bye, Alf. Right, guys, we've actually had our first sale of the day already. It's only 20 past nine. I'm absolutely thrilled about that. Um, it's Normally, I've noticed we tend to get our sales in the afternoon period between like one and three. Uh, so it's nice to get an early sale. Um, as someone that was actually buying a gift for their friend and picked up a cool living dead doll item so absolutely chuffed about that I need to actually make a thumbnail for the vlog um, that for you guys is going to be coming out uh, what well, will have been out yesterday so I've got to make the thumbnail for that um, and I need to then get on and get some more items listed we've still got a bunch of stuff um, that's in the shop that's not on the website or, or, or eBay so I need to get that fixed ASAP. It's 20 to 2 now um, and it's been pretty quiet. We've had just a couple of people walk in um, and um, there was a customer that was actually looking for like a money bank and that's something else that I want to get into the shop because they, they can be quite popular you know so like uh, character related money boxes so I do need to add those to um, our inventory. Still no sales and we are past uh, th West half past three um, and, and I think we've had maybe one person walk in and actually have a look around so very quiet um, however I've been using the time uh, productively uh, which is brilliant I've actually um, I spoke to Vinny about trading cards um, and I've actually found a good wholesaler um, which I'm really pleased about because it can be quite tricky finding decent wholesalers um, and sometimes you realize that there's there's opportunities out there um, and wholesalers out there that will do a much better deal than others um, so I actually found a really good wholesaler that I'm also gonna be able to order some cool Mandalorian stuff in because I can't believe I haven't got anything with the child uh, you know that's it's so cute it's unbelievable so I should be getting some of that stuff in as well as well a bit of Minecraft stuff just to appeal um, a bit more to you know people that are into into this stuff are also going to be into obviously Star Wars and uh, that kind of stuff as well so and as well as my first bit of Pokemon um, I'm only getting some booster card pack thingy majiggies to sell but I'm not, I've not got any plushes or anything yet but that is also on the cards we're definitely not doing ourselves any favors the shop doesn't look open um, it's simply not bright enough it, it just looks like it's closed from outside and we've had enough people mention it mention the light um, we just actually had a lovely customer in and, and they did actually just make a purchase which is great they actually picked up a, um, a, a little Funko Pop they're actually out just getting their kids hair cut um, and decided to pop in because the little boy wanted to see what was in the shop ended up making a little impulse purchase perfect really pleased but the fact that the shop didn't look open and the only reason they came in is because I had the door open um, it, that to me says I need to really uh, fix that ASAP we need to look more open maybe we would need like a lit up open sign um, I think um, Aid Waldron in the comments mentioned like LED lights but it needs to be urgent now because it's just not right that it doesn't look open um, that's just not cool the day has finished it is past six o'clock I'm very pleased with the amount of work I managed to get done in terms of listing on eBay and on the website. I'm also really pleased with um, managing to sort out a wholesale account and also actually managing to order from it, although I've not heard back from them yet. Um, so that's all been great. Sales wise, I'm a little bit, I'm happy because we actually had uh, two customers that came in and bought both Impulse, which was brilliant, um, but I'm also 
very concerned that um that at least a couple of people today have mentioned that the shop didn't look open and since we've been open we've actually had a number of people say that and we still haven't done anything about it so i need to now put that as my number one priority i think the last few days i've been quite focused on getting into my head that the stuff i do in the office is key and it is because obviously at the moment ebay is our biggest income well it's my biggest income bex jobs our biggest income uh, but ebay is my biggest income um as far as i'm concerned so it's important that i do list on it and i have been listing on it regularly and um, the website as well to build that up um that's important for us as well going forward so it's great i've been doing all of that and um only looking at the shop as like a gravy or a bonus but when there's like a glaring error, I mean, obviously we know about the lack of use, but we're still not using all our wall space, but that's being fixed. That's in the process of being fixed. That's more of a stock thing. You know, we're getting some cool stock in that will work up there really well. Um, I've actually had the idea of um, some really cool clocks. You get themed clocks for obviously all the different things that you're into, so whether it's Batman, Harry Potter, Superman. I was thinking of having a whole bunch of different clocks up on the wall, should look quite cool. And also, obviously, people will be able to buy them, which is even better. Um, so that's in the process. That's kind of like a stock thing. But in terms of um, making the shop attractive to walk into or even appear open would be a good sign. Um, the fact that people think we're not even open, not good. <laughs> it's now half past 11 at night um, I had a lot of fun earlier going on the Fatal 4-Way chat on Kieran Rummage Around's channel with Ricky um, and James Collect um, it was a lot of fun really enjoyed it and then I've now spent far too long trying to pick out LED strip lights for the shop window um, I don't know why but whenever I'm like looking into something I like start reading up on it and and getting info and then just unnecessary knowledge and then I start thinking do I need an app do or do I need to buy a separate controller and use that uh, do I need 12 volt or 24 volt and all this kind of stuff so eventually anyway I've managed to pick up um, a set of lights which should hopefully be delivered on Thursday which would be nice and we can add a bit of life to our shop window um, a little bit of brightness because um, it, it, too many people have said that it looks closed which is really unfortunate because it didn't look that dull um, I guess when we moved in the, maybe it's the stock maybe it's absorbing all the light or something but we didn't envision this to be an issue um, but it does look closed people are right people are um, you know it, it does look closed anyway that's something we've got to work on but despite that I'm still pretty pleased with how things are going. Um, anyway, I'm going to end the vlog. I keep on saying anyway as well. Um, I'm going to end the vlog now. Um, thank you for everybody that's been watching these and enjoying them. Leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.